that Christmas episode was special. It was. We're making so much moves. Sweaty hand hold, already exchanging potentially fluids of the body. Taking pictures, sending videos, and even at nighttime, right? We didn't give her a kiss. No, I don't expect a kiss or a confession, but like the setup is very good. And now we're gearing into, I think, New Year's. There's two more episodes. I wonder how Dangerous in My Heart's gonna end with season one. Let's begin today's reaction. ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっ
配信者じゃないじゃ可愛かった。Yeah? いや、別にいるだろう。いないが。はごめん。いや、どこ I don't. Wait, but you know, we all have guy friends and girlfriends. I don't. The sister is a bit of a neat. Like, I don't really know much about the sister, you know? Like, I know that she dotes for her little bro, but aside from that, her personality, I'm not really sure. I mean, she was out and about, you know, on that date episode last episode, too. She was, like, you know, shopping. Was she with friends, though? Was she just alone? Maybe she was. She's just a true loner? No, I don't know. Yeah, but... She's backing off. Like, I don't know, Yamada and her, she could be like, they could be good friends and it could be an actual friend or something, but I don't know how much it makes sense. For, I don't even know how old she is. Like, would it make sense for her to have a fucking friend in middle school? I, I don't know anymore, actually. それはそれで気持ち悪いんだが。スタンプの使い方間違ってるだろ。Yeah, He's twenty. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think a twenty-year-old should be hanging around with like a fourteen, thirteen-year-old. You know, it's not a good look. Like, you know, we just recently had the drama, Mr. Beast. Not Mr. Beast specifically, but you know, the twenty-year-old, thirteen. Yeah, it's not a good look. It's not a good look at all. You should not be hanging out with 13 year olds if you're fucking 20 years old, dude. No, you should not be doing that. We're friends, I guess. Just friends? Oh, she's gonna get a little mad. For now. Accidental Riz? I don't think he understood what he was really saying, but you know, that worked. Does she have contact lenses in that school? I didn't realize that she wears glasses at home. That's sad. Yeah, and the sister also won't autofill because she has like actually no fucking friends. On the way. She's, she's coming? Yeah. Call again! Do you have anything? Yeah? So, what are we doing? What are we doing right now? Synchronized drinking? What does that accomplish? Hmm? What am I doing right now? The fuck? I can see it. Wow, what was the water part? <laughs> no, I want to be with you. I wouldn't be otherwise. Is she fucking like... <laughs> Proxy head head patting us, right? She is. She proxy made us drink and then head patted us. What that actually be? I'm like, what are you doing right now? That's what she's doing. It's like intimate in a way, you know. <laughs> this is like, okay, y'all know what? Um, I never understood the concept of e sexting. Cause like, when I was in like a group chat online and playing gacha games, there was like this couple and they'd be like, yeah, we, we have sex online. I'm like, what? What do you mean you have, you know, you make love online? How, how, how does that work? So, he told me, it's like, so we get on call, then we start fucking roleplay and I'm like, oh, I'm good. I'm, that's, that's weird, you know? I, I think some people do that shit over Discord too. They got their fucking Discord kitten, they fucking like, Role play the act of making love. Uh, it's weird. I don't know, but like you know, this is basically kind of that, but soft core. It's kind of like that. Cap, cap, cap. She loves this shit. Good night. Night. Grandma. 
Huh, is this there a place to guitar? He has a guitar case, interesting. Does she? She likes the cat praying mantis. Hmm? <laughs> Yo, why are you upset now? Wait, what's going on? Akita dog. Oh yeah, this is why it's called Akita dog. Right? There's a literal Japanese breed dog called Akita. I know there's Shiba Inu, but there's Akita, and this place is called Akita. The dog is named after a region. Okay. She is like three different tiers. Like, you have actually no business with Yamada. I'm sorry. It's kind of like, it is a miracle that he knew her early enough and like was able to kind of like accept her for what she was. But like, if you really think about it, could you ever imagine them being an actual couple? Like, it worked because they're in middle school and she's yet to figure out what she really wants and she's, you know, discovering herself and he's discovering himself and he was there for her and they vibe well. For sure, they, they do get along very well, but like, I think that she's a couple leagues over her. Over him. Interesting. Okay, okay. Getting more sister lore. <laughs> this is the snafu shit. You know? This is the snafu shit where it's like, you know, I hate nice girls because if they text me, I'm gonna fucking read the conversation all day with a dumbass smile on my face, you know? <laughs> that whole nice girl speech. Yamada. Yamada? Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she's... She is ladylike in a lot of places, but also, you know, in aspects like this, she's a, she's a little bad, yeah. He does. Yeah. But, like... Are we actually gonna have the matching keychain? Because, like, the keychain, are we gonna give this to Yamada? So isn't the sister gonna be upset? It's like, what the fuck? Your keychain, what, what, Yamada has it? Sorry, technical difficulties, one second, one second. Three, two, one, we're back. Cap. Cap. Look at that heart bag. Oh, the scarf too! Oh. <gasps> what? What are the odds? Wait, she got a... She got a corgi? Is that an Akita or a corgi? <gasps> it looks like a corgi to me. Oh. Oh. Yamada in work outfit. Missed me. <laughs> the light just boom. What if you missed me? But like, you know, in like a different way. <laughs> What's the dog? Wantaro. Oh, he can do tricks. No, 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 no. Commit to it. Okay, so it's the cats that are. You think that she took a little sip for the indirect kiss, you know, prep? Hmm. Sit. Hmm. The dog does not respect you. It did the same trick before when Yamada commanded, but the dog's like, Pussy? You can't command me? Weak ass motherfucker? No, not you! <laughs> What, it, what the hell is this pet play right now? Yamada's a dog. She's listening to all the commands. Give me paw. Give me paw. Yamada. Oh. Hey! That time, the dog was gonna do it. Wantaro almost did it. Wantaro lifted his paw. But Yamada was like, nope, mine. <laughs> oh, jeez. We're actually holding hands and sitting down. Oh, my. We're just holding hands casually. Feels like a fucking date. Like a public park date, take the dog out for a walk, like, god damn. Boop, boop, boop. 
Wow, you put in the packets and everything? You can keep it. You can keep it. Ooh. <laughs> the sunlight activates, of course. Like, every time the cameraman just like, all right, put some fucking Vaseline on the lens and activate the sunlight. Oh my, oh my god, the hand holding! Carte 11. <laughs> right, every time. And also, Carte is not chapter. Some people let me know in the other comments. It's supposed to be like diagnosis because it's like a fucking patient being treated. But the formula is always that, right? Some fucking romantic moments happen. Sunlight activates. Different soundtrack. Carte fucking shows up. I. And then the title. Oh! The gift! Okay, okay, okay. We're? We're what? We are? Oh, she loves this. <laughs> it's so cute that she just jumped up and danced around. Like an actual fucking dog that was so excited to get a treat. <laughs> Oh, we're a bit alike, are we? Akita Kentaro. Wantaro. Oh. Ho ho! Perfect opportunities for her to meet the family, right? I hope that we can see Yamada and like... What do they wear during winter times? During the New Year's resolution, right? It's the... Uh, Yukata is for summer. It's just a kimono then, right? Bye bye. Yeah. It's a date. It's a date. Sore kara sujitsu. Kizuke wa mainichi. Wait. What the fuck kind of. Dude. This girl right over here. That's a delinquent pose. That actually looks so fucking intimidating. <laughs> okay. Ba. Mainichi Yamada to Rain Suryo ni natte ita. Iya iya. Hento ni te. One of the other friends. Moshka shitara. December 31st, New Year's Eve. I hear, I hear NumPy. I think I hear NumPy. NumPy is Senpai. But he calls him NumPy because it's supposed to be like a Playboy thing. That's him. Bike kid. あ、そうそう、市原くん。そし。市川。え、市原。市川。市川。Okay, fake name for whatever fucking reason. Whatever. あ、そうそう、市原くん。そして、今超えてる山田さん何してるかな山田 busy with me. Fuck off, senpai. Come on. Stand on business. Stand on business. Yeah, I'm not giving it to you. The fuck? That's an episode one reference, bro. Okay. Moko, Moko, clutch, kind of? Don't fall asleep. <laughs> of course we do. No. Oh, the girl. Hmm. I thought you told each car to do it. Okay. okay. Yo, this girl's just kind of getting used, isn't she? Like, she's just like a side hoe. And I don't even know what number side hoe she is. Maybe she's number one, but like... This dude, I don't think really cares. He's just trying to get closer to Yamada, right? I have no pity for her. It seems bad, but like, you should know your own value. This is on you. You don't value yourself. You let that guy step all over you, fully under, like, aware that he's after Yamada and not you. Like, he's just fucking around with you. And you know it deep inside. But you don't know... How to let go of that because she's obviously desperate and lonely to the point where she's fine with, you know, just tagging along. Just so that it's better than being alone, but like, nah. Nah, man. I have no pity for you. Figure this shit out. Skill fucking issue. You want to be treated as a fucking doormat? Then people will step all over you. 
Okay, 1v1 now. Wow, directly across. I'm not giving it to you, dude. Why would I give it to you? No, stand up for yourself. And Moiko's listening. Mo this is a test. Will you stand up for yourself? I don't think Moiko wants this to happen, right? This is gonna be good. If if Yam if Ishikawa can like pass this test and stand up and say fucking no and walk away, and Moiko hears this shit and she tells Yamada no, like it'll be a huge moment. No. Good. Louder, louder. Cause she mine. Okay, that's good enough. Moiko, reject him too. Moiko, reject him too. <laughs> Damn! Let's go, Moiko! Senpai Loki just been taking L after L after L after L, man. Like, God damn, dude. This is great. He actually stood up. I wanted him to, like, declare, like, you know, I like Yamada or, like, she's mine or something. But this works, too. He said no. She heard it. This is a good impression on her. He's even saying that we're friends. She might tell Yamada about that, too. Imagine how many credits we're going to get off this interaction. Wait, wait, like... This is bad. I'm almost starting to like her. You talking about Yamato or Moiko right now in this context? Yeah. Straight up tell him. So he can fuck off. Oh! That's like cheating! Oh my god! Goodness! They held hands! Mm. What do you think, Moiko? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, everyone knows! Like, they're trying to hide it, bro. Everyone pretty much knows now. Bye bye. Ah, Moiko really did help out. Chill! <laughs> what the fuck? The fuck? Yo, okay, so it, it was, you know, I'm starting to like her, was literally Moiko. But like, yeah, she, she was spunky. She a little troll. This is fun. Because like the other friends, they felt a little static. You know, Yamada's core group of like those other three friends. But like now she's getting a little more character. She's like kind of trolling around, trying to like poke at Ichika to see like how loyal are you and stuff like that. But she's fun. I hope there's more about her. Yes. Yeah, Mata? Oh, they're all sleeping. <laughs> Happy New Year. Yeah, it's too much to expect like a, you know, like a New Year's kiss, right? Like, yeah, it's not. And now's not the time. And even in season, I don't know how much it's going to progress in season two. No, I, I, I like the current pacing is good. I just, there, there might be a point where we may plateau with the development, but like right now it feels very good. The pacing is on point with developing this relationship throughout season one. I don't even think it was much of a slow burn. Like the first couple episodes might have been, but ever since then, it's just been on track just the entire time. Moiko. Moiko came. No! I could have came over. Oh, I didn't realize. I thought that she was alone at home. Oh, fuck. Oh. oh. Fucked up, bro. Fucked up. Go back, go back, go back. Yeah, one of these days I'll take I'll tell I'll tell you that I like you. Oh. When will that happen? I don't know. And like, you know there's some rom-coms they forever delay the confession so they can milk it out. But there's also some rom-coms that, you know, like handles the confession pretty early on and they focus on the relationship aspect of it. Wonder how this is really gonna progress as we go into season two. 
that's another episode of Dangers of My Heart, the penultimate episode before we get into the season finale, and it was like a New Year's Eve episode. The first half with, you know, got a little bit more out of the sister. I'd like to know more about her. She seems to be a huge loner. She has issues of just giving up on stuff too. And I don't know, I, I want to get to know more about her. A 20 year old though, hanging around with like a 13 year old, a sister Yamada, I'm not sure if that's a good look, but I think she has good intentions. Got to see the rest of the family, even though it was short. Broke his fucking arm trying to take a picture for Yamada. The whole like, I don't know, were we, were we having phone sex? I'm not sure, we were definitely doing phone head pads though. That was pretty funny. And then the rest is a New Year's episode. It's really nice to see Ichikawa like stand up against Senpai. I want Senpai, I don't hate him, but it is kind of annoying how just thirsty he is over Yamada and how he just doesn't give up even though it's so clear that like Yamada wants nothing to do with him. But it was nice to see Ichikawa like stand up for himself and say no. He didn't put his foot down just yet but he did say no. And then more character developments for him. No, fleshing out the character of Moiko just to see what she's like. She's a feisty one. She's a little trolly. She's fun though and it's like we should have taken that invitation. Who knew that all three of them would be back there but it is what it is, and that's it from me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlists for even more content, and until next time, take care.